The sanctuary staff became increasingly worried when they encountered an enraged gorilla, adamantly preventing anyone from approaching. However, their apprehension transformed into sheer astonishment and disbelief as they examined the gorilla's hand. At the tender age of two, Bobo arrived at the Mafu Primate Sanctuary, having already experienced a tumultuous journey in his short life. Originally hailing from the wild, he had enjoyed a typical gorilla upbringing until tragedy struck. Poachers invaded his habitat, mercilessly snatching away his mother. Left orphaned and too young to fend for himself, Bobo was discovered by the compassionate sanctuary staff who welcomed him into a community of other young gorillas who had faced similar hardships. As time passed, Bobo matured into a formidable figure and eventually ascended to the position of Alpha within his group. His size grew to such an extent that he surpassed his companions in strength and stature, effectively deterring any would-be poachers. The South African sanctuary staff, filled with genuine affection for Bobo and every creature under their care, cherished him deeply. Throughout its existence, the sanctuary had provided refuge and salvation for over 300 apes and monkeys, whether rescuing victims of poaching or nursing injured animals back to health. Among the dedicated caregivers, one person stood out, Alyssa. It was Alyssa who had the privilege of raising Bobo, nurturing his growth into a resilient and wise gorilla. She possessed an intimate knowledge of Bobo, having spent countless hours observing his unique mannerisms and quirks. Alyssa possessed an uncanny ability to discern Bobo's emotions, effortlessly distinguishing his happiness and contentment from his anger and impatience. Consequently, she became the sole individual capable of reaching out to him. The bond between Bobo and Alyssa was nothing short of extraordinary, akin to a profound connection between a mother and her son. Even as Bobo grew in size, dwarfing the petite sanctuary worker, their love and respect for each other remained unwavering. Weighing in at a staggering 300 pounds, with an imposing physique, one might assume that Bobo would be a perpetually angry and aggressive creature. While he indeed possessed the capability to assert his dominance among the other gorillas, when necessary there existed a remarkably gentle side to him. Often, he would display this tender aspect of his nature towards fellow apes and even some members of the sanctuary staff. The sight of such a colossal animal exhibiting such tenderness and affection always evoked a sense of wonder. However, should any male gorilla dare challenge Bobo's position as the alpha of the group, he would swiftly transition back into his formidable, forceful self. For example, two younger males named Kibbo and the cane tried to challenge Bobo, and his power once and inevitably a fight ensued while Alyssa and the keepers were eventually able to separate the three animals. The encounter did not end well for the two young challengers, and Bobo remained firmly in his position of power as alpha of the group. One day, though, Alyssa started to notice something strange about Bobo. He would normally walk around his enclosure looking at things and playing with the various stimulation items in there, but he had recently started to hide in the long grass and keep much more to himself. Everyone from the staff to the other apes were used to Bobo coming and taking an interest in whatever they were doing, but now he seemed increasingly less present in the group, both physically and mentally. It's like he was being distracted and wanted to be elsewhere. It really was the kind of behavior that set alarm bells ringing for Alyssa. So, determined to get to the bottom of what was going on, Alyssa started to keep a very close eye on Bobo. She soon noticed that he wasn't going to the long grass to hide himself. He was going there to hide something else he was using it as a hiding spot. Now, as well as being incredibly strong and powerful, gorillas are also intelligent and emotional animals. They are capable of keeping their own secrets, and if Bobo didn't want anyone to discover what he was doing then there was no way that would change. It's not like anyone could just walk in and go and take a look for themselves. That would be near suicide. So, Alyssa came up with a plan. She waited until it was time to feed Bobo, and then she served him his food in his cage. The giant gorilla happily walked in and sat down to eat his meal, at which point Alyssa shut the cage behind him, trapping him in there and making it safe for her to enter his enclosure. Bobo gave her nothing more than a passing glance, though seemingly unfazed by what had just happened and more interested in his food. Alyssa walked over to the long grass and waited in keeping her eyes peeled for anything that looked suspicious.
When she eventually reached the patch that Bobo kept going to and acting suspiciously, she was shocked to discover that there was absolutely nothing out of the ordinary there, apart from some flattened down grass where he had been sitting, there was nothing of any interest there, it was a relief. As Alyssa was worried that Bobo had gotten hold of something that he shouldn't, something that could be dangerous to both him and her. What she didn't realize was that Bobo had not used the grass to hide something away. Rather, he had kept that secret something on him at all times. It was only when Alyssa noticed him holding something in his hands and him studying it very closely that she realized that she had been fooled by the gorilla. She was now more determined than ever to figure out exactly what it was that he was holding. The issue was that whenever she or anyone else tried to get close enough to see what Bobo was holding, he would become angry and irritated running off and hiding in a quieter spot. He would constantly create distance between himself and anyone else that might want to come close and discover the secret that he had hidden away in his massive hands. Of course, no one wanted to anger Bobo, they had all seen how vicious and violent he could get, and no one wanted to suffer his wrath. Even some other gorillas had picked up that Bobo was hiding something, and they too started to show a keen interest in whatever it was that he was holding. Of course, Bobo would let out a scream and chase them away whenever they wanted to come close, it seemed that no one would be able to discover the secret. Of course, there was always one person who could get through to Bobo slightly more than anyone else. After numerous unsuccessful attempts, Alyssa finally managed to approach Bobo closely enough to see what he held in his hands. To her utter astonishment, her mouth fell open in disbelief. It wasn't an object or possession he was guarding selfishly. It wasn't a delectable treat he refused to share. It was something completely unexpected and extraordinary. Resting in Bobo's hands was a tiny creature. Initially resembling a rodent, Alyssa's binoculars revealed the truth. A Galago, an uncommon primate rarely encountered at the sanctuary. It must have found its way into Bobo's enclosure from the surrounding forest. Remarkably, Bobo had discovered it and adopted it as his own, caring for it like a cherished pet. He gently prodded and caressed the Galago, even engaging in playful interactions. Despite the stark contrast in size, the minuscule Galago seemed completely at ease in the presence of the towering gorilla who provided its care. Sometimes the Galago would venture into the tall grass or frolic around, only to return to Bobo as if it relished every moment spent by his side. Galagos were known to be nocturnal hunters, leading Alyssa to speculate that the small creature might wander off during the night. However, she was taken aback when she discovered that Bobo was sharing his food with the Galago and even personally feeding the tiny primate. This revelation left Alyssa, along with the rest of the staff, in awe and intrigue. The other gorillas in the sanctuary shared the same astonishment, but Bobo made it clear that they should maintain a safe distance. Despite being a massive and sturdy gorilla, it appeared that all the love and care Alyssa had poured into Bobo's upbringing was now directed towards his unusual and pint-sized companion, the Galago. What are your thoughts on this heartwarming story? We would love to hear your opinions in the comments section. Thank you.